So today we are going to see if we can create a real live automation framework from the start by using the vibe coding. Okay, guys, as you know, vibe coding is very, very popular nowadays. And many students were asking, sir, is it possible to create from scratch from zero to till the framework where we will be able to run it? Like, can we create a Selenium framework from scratch? Let's see this because I'm going to discuss about my journey how we are using this. Trust me guys, even if you are a manual tester, fresher or non IT, right? This is going to be a very important video because you have to know what is coming right now for you, which means if you are not learning automation, AI is also coming for you. This is where we are going to see that. And I'm going to show you personally how I'm going to generate an automation framework from scratch for one of the website. We will be doing a very small things. We will be doing right. How we can from the start, how we can generate a plan, test cases. And in the end, we will be using cursor AI pro version, right? How exactly we can going to create the automation framework from scratch till the end. Okay. So let's learn it. Another important thing. I'm going to give you the cursor AI one month subscription. Also just type cursor in the chat. If you think sir, yes, I want it because this is, you will be mind blown by this tool guys. This is an amazing tool. We have shifted this tool. We, for example, we were using IntelliJ previously, but nowadays we have started using cursor AI. And I wanted to show you the features of this also. All right. So let's go with this. Okay. First of all, white coding, right? What, what do you mean by white coding and everything in my generative AI session? If you have not seen, I'm going to share the link with you. Also, I have specifically told you, right? Vibe coding is nothing but whenever, whatever you are thinking about it, right? You can basically now, whatever the process that you know, you basically just have a vibe and you talk to the tools and they will do it for you now. Okay. So you should be hundred percent aware about what is a frameworks. What is a prompting and what are the different types of prompting frameworks like it in this? If you want to see the tutorials, we, I have basically created a generative AI for automation tester link in the description will be, you can check it out this series, which is important. So without any ado, let's get started. Let's see how exactly we are going to do that. First of all, we need something called as requirement document, which is called as PRD. So can we use AI to create a PRD for this? So consider this example, we have this login page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to use the perplexity right now, right now. I'm going to drop the screenshot with this. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is that, uh, but I, so I have a login, a positive login that we have. So I have just, what I have done is that taken a couple of screenshots. This is, this is going to be a screenshot that we are using. So now we will ask the, ask the perplexity or nothing but the chat GPT to create a PRD for us, which is very, very important because we will be using this PRD for our references to generate our automation framework also, right? So let me log out also so that we have a login page also is every, I, I hope everyone is uh, able to understand what we are doing. Very simple thing. I've just uploaded a couple of screenshots. Now I'm going to ask something which is very important. So I'm going to use a tool, which is audio to text. This is a tool called as the Equa. So with Equa is an amazing tool. I would request if you want it. If you want to use it, it's an amazing tool. If you want to try out a demo also, it works very well. So here is the prompt. I want you to create a product requirement document for this application, web application that we are generating. It's a login application with a dashboard. If it is a successful login, then it will be basically a dashboard page will be logged in. But if there is a invalid login, then a login with error message screen is visible to you. All these screenshots are attached. I want you to basically act as a business analyst with 20 years of experience. I want you to create a product requirement document so that I can create the test plan, test cases and automation framework out of it. So this is the prompt that I have given to, right? It's a very big pr prompt. By the way, we need to give uh, with wrong username password also, which is this error, which is the, this error. So this screenshot also, I will give it to him, right? So this is. This is how you should basically create a prompts. Now, if you are confused, ki, sir, how do we basically learn about prompts and everything? Then this document will help you. I will put a link. If you want it, you can join that one. Now let's see if it is able to generate the proper PRD or a product requirement document or not, because the first thing we need is that you should know what is the product requirement documents, what exactly we are automating, right? Second thing is that direct AI with the framework prompt. What do you mean by this? See, whenever we are working with the vibe coding and everything, right? We need the correct prompt, correct tools. We should be aware about these things, which is very, very important, right? For example, if I'm automating something, if I want to create a Selenium automation framework from scratch, what we are going to do. So by the way, this is the PRD that you are able to see, right? This is a PRD of the documents. Very amazing. Uh, 
good thing that we already have it now easily we can generate our test plan so i have given a instructions you can create a test plan with this with this prompt i can basically now ask to create a test plan with with the similar documentation right and i will ask that okay yes give me the test plan in a this format also so if you can see i have basically asked specifically to create a test plan now i know many of you will have question ki sir why we are generating a test plan it is important to create a framework it is important that we should always have our test plan and test case ready so we are going to ask that okay please create a test plan into this format so i'm going to use the same prompt by the way if you need this prompt like type prompt in the chat i will share all the prompts with you and act as this and here is the prompt so now what exactly it will give you is it will now act as a your own qa lead and it will create a beautiful test plan for you which requires which basically need needed to test guys i'm telling you the exactly how right now we are using ai now this information i am pretty much sure lot of people are not knowing this right we are using certain models right which are important and this is how we are generating our test plans and everything of course we are hiding couple of important projects couple of important things but most of the things you can see it has generated a beautiful test plan for us right which can be used to create our self automation framework also right now last but not the important thing i will basically also generate my test cases also so i will use a simple prompt which i want i want to test basically get our details uh, get the test cases in a tabular and this format also i want to basically create a test cases in a very good way i mean in depth test cases also i want so i will basically now ask chat gpt to create and give me the test cases also so in this part what we have done overall from the pr product requirement documents we have created our test plan and we are going to also create our test case also you can see now we have valid and invalid test cases created from this step 1 step 2 and step 3 of the software testing cycle is done which is creating a requirement creating our test plan and creating our test case also now couple of important other things also you can ask which is test strategy documents as well as uh, if you want bug reporting documents also you can ask but again in the generative ai session i have already given you this thing if you want to generate a test strategy this is how the test strategy document is uh, this is one of the test strategy prompt that you can use i will share with you if you want to generate a strategy and other things also also i would request you if you want test matrix also you can also use this so this is a part one where we have generated till now only the manual stuff right now right in the part two now we are going to generate our full fresh framework by using the cursor because now we understood what is the test cases that we want to generate now i have a good number of test cases which is positive and negative valid and invalid test cases these test cases i will put them into into my one of the template by the way these are the test cases and templates which i'm going to share with you if you want to use it this is a test plan template that you can use as well as test case template that you can use this is the only first part now let's jump into the second part do let me know guys if you need uh, if you need this all the documents just type documents or resources in the chat also if you are looking for a cursor we are basically providing you one month of cursor trial cursor is an amazing white coding tool which is ide that we have switched from intellij to the cursor i'm going to show you in the part 2 let's jump into the part 2 and where we will see how to create a real live project framework from the scratch by after this because now we have prd test plan and test cases ready via the ai right yeah let's go